uh, in my class and just uh, in my friend groups, uh, we have a lot of individuals who cannot necessarily uh, use oral contraceptive methods. Uh, a really easy and common reason for this is that uh, if you have migraines, they can actually make migraines worse. Medical student Danielle Judd is lobbying federal and provincial politicians for free access to contraception of all kinds. From what we have heard so far, we haven't uh, had anyone promise to provide necessarily universal um, access to contraception. At first glance, that sounds confusing since the new Democrats have been pushing for what they call exactly that. But it's a complicated topic. The Canadian Federation of Medical Students goes beyond the pill to call for coverage of all kinds of birth control, including copper IUDs. Right now, it's nearly impossible to get those covered by insurance. IUDs fall into a category known as longer acting contraception. If we switch people from methods like pills that can fail on average 9% per year to a method that fails only about 2 in 1,000 or 0.2% per year, you're actually significantly reducing the number of unplanned pregnancies. And with that, you significantly reduce uh, the, the health care costs. When we asked the New Democrat leader whether IUDs are part of his plan, he was noncommittal. So we want a broad as possible formulary, meaning the list of medications that's covered is as broad as possible. Setting IUDs aside and looking at the big picture, there are all kinds of barriers to birth control, especially for people who are marginalized, low income or uninsured. When we look at uh, the kind of contraception that is used in Canada, it, it appears bound to financial ability uh, instead of, of really what works for people. The Liberals say they're open to the idea, but won't get into specifics. It's an important thing to note. It is something that we're looking at, uh, and that's what I'll say for now. Of course, health care is a provincial responsibility and coverage varies. Some people are eligible for some forms of birth control coverage in B.C., Ontario and Quebec. As examples, the Canadian Federation of Medical Students wants the federal government to make it a universal mandate Canada-wide. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.